Okay, welcome back to the Hockey Family. Um, I wanted to do a video today um, for any new parents um, with a child that's expressed interest in playing hockey in terms of what do you do for your hockey bag? What essentials are required when they play hockey? Uh, first thing you want to look for is the bag itself. You want to make sure that you get a bag that has a separate compartment, preferably one that has a zipper, um, so that way you can contain other items. The bags and the equipment get overwhelming. Uh, there's so much of it, and it's so voluminous that things can get lost pretty easily, and when you're digging through in a tight locker room, you can't always find what you need. So the first item you're going to need in your hockey bag, without question, is tape. First kind of tape you're going to need is just plain clear tape. Um, this tape is best suited for taping the top of your uh, socks. It doesn't take away from the coloring of your uniform due to its clear nature, um, and it holds up pretty well um, when taped right around the thigh and or the front of the shin pads, um, and just allows the child to be able to skate around uh, without having their equipment or socks fall down. The kind of tape that you're going to need is hockey tape. Hockey tape is a, basically a cloth tape. There are many brands available. And the coloring comes uh, in anything from black and white to rainbow, um, all based on preference. Uh, initially, it was thought that if you use black tape on the front of your stick, it was a little harder to see the puck and thus concealing it from the goalie when you were going to take a shot. Um, a lot of people prefer white tape, that way they can see the puck on their blade. Um, when they look down, a little easier than if they see the black. Um, but basically, it's just preference. Um, there's many different colors available, and I feel like th these children really can express their style um, and individuality when they pick a tape that they prefer. Um, I've seen everything from Superman to Captain America to just the plain colors. The third item <laughs> that you're going to need, and something that's often not thought of, is scissors. Um, this is just a small pair of scissors. Um, the reason being they fit very easily inside of the um, hockey bag themselves. Um, they're not terribly sharp on the end, um, so they don't puncture anything. Um, but the hockey tape in and of itself can be difficult to rip, particularly for a young person. Um, so this really assists with your ability to cut it um, nice and even. Um, the other essential part is many times you're taping your stick, particularly at the rink. It can be very difficult, particularly if you tape the toe of the stick, um, to cut off all of the little edges uh, and make it nice and smooth. So the scissors are essential um, for cutting the tape nice and even. Um, it makes a nice clean cut, um, and it's very, very helpful for any small person um, who won't be able to rip it with their string. That's um, not often thought of, but uh, I would say is essential to the kit is a helmet repair kit. Um, reason being, this kit includes uh, Phillips screwdrivers, um, snaps, um, plastic cage clips, all the things that would be required to help assist um, should something get broken, which unfortunately happens pretty routinely, as a lot of the oh, clips are plastic. You'll find within the um, repair kit are the plastic clips. These are essential because they fit alongside the edge of your mask where it clips to the very back, therefore holding your cage in place. Uh, these tend to break very easily. Um, as you can see, this is an older helmet uh, that my son had, and this side broke um, off already. The other essential piece that you find on a lot of these helmets is the, this clip. These also come within the, the uh, set. Reason being, these are also plastic. Uh, the replacement is metal, um, and these can easily break off there. Uh, you don't get a great seal uh, with your helmet. And you really want it to sit nice and tight into this. Uh, that way your child's chin is protected within the base cup. Um, I only have stitches in my chin, surprisingly, because mine actually moved when I was playing a college game. And the base cup uh, cut my chin open. <laughs> the other essential piece of this is the screw uh, and the Phillips screwdriver. The main thing that's going to fall out of the helmet are the front screws. They uh, are easily screwed in with the replacement Phillips screwdriver and the screw that comes uh, within the kit. You just can plop this in, you can fix it right on the bench, uh, and 
and you don't even miss a shit. I would shit. say that another absolute essential uh, are band-aids. Um, whenever you have new skates, uh, particularly, uh, they rub the side, therefore trying to cause blisters. Um, very uncomfortable, um, particularly for someone that's trying to learn how to skate or break in new skates. Um, these are essential to have, uh, particularly if your son or daughter has a hockey camp that may be several hours long, um, something where you drop them off. Um, the uh, coaches and training staff can, can help you with the band-aids um, and apply them um, to your son's foot or daughter's foot. Um, therefore, uh, they can still continue to practice and skate and break in their new skates without having any additional blisters um, on their heels. Or another essential for your hockey bag are hockey laces. A lot of times, particularly if you've purchased your hockey skates used, which I recommend, um, the laces can become dry rot rather easily. Um, so it's great to have an extra set of laces that you can lace up. Um, this can be done in the locker room, this can be done between periods, this can be done on the bench, um, and it just saves a lot of extra time um, and prevents your child from having a skate lace break uh, while they're playing or ready to practice. Um, similar to the hockey tape, um, these come in multiple colors and it really allows your child to express their individuality. Um, these just happen to be black. Um, a lot of times the main skates, when you purchase them, come with white laces. Um, you can change the team colors or whatever you might find preferable. Um, laces come in two styles, um, plain and waxed. Um, waxed uh, are not always preferable, um, but they can be good for younger children, particularly if the skates need to remain very tight. Uh, they hold uh, very easily against the leather of the boot, uh, thereby not coming undone. Um, as you get older and you need more flexibility in your skating, um, a lot of times people do not use the wax laces. But it's all to your preference. Um, we always keep an extra set in our bag just in case. Two last things that are, I would consider essential um, before moving on to two things that uh, are not necessarily essential but could be good to have in your bag are extra socks and extra jersey. Um, can't tell you how many times people get to the rink and they forgot some of their equipment, particularly the socks and or their jersey. Um, particularly for a practice, it doesn't quite matter what you're wearing. So it's just great to have a, a color, regardless of what it is. That way your child can put out their equipment on uh, and not be able to miss um, some of their training. Um, for a game, it's great to take both sets, home and away, because you sometimes, uh, particularly under eight, um, they play jamboree tournaments where they change color jerseys depending on the game. So it's great to have both sets. Um, worst case scenario, at least take both jerseys. If you have to wear the same color socks, they won't clash with the home or away jersey. But it's great to have regardless. Um, that way you don't miss any practice or game time. Okay, this is a piece of equipment that I would not consider essential for your bag, but is quite helpful, um, particularly if you're finding that you have to play multiple games um, over weekends or multiple tournaments in a row. This is a re-edging tool. There are multiple brands available. What this does is allow you to very quickly add an edge back to the blade of your skate, as well as buff the side of the skate to remove any imperfections along the skate blade. What you want to do is take your blade, and if you rub your hand alongside it, you can sometimes feel the bumps and ridges and imperfections in the skate blade. So you want to take your tool, just very gently rub this along down the skate blade. Um, once or twice really is all that's necessary. You don't want to put too much pressure on it because you will dull the blade, but just a light pressure. Once you've done that a couple of times, you take the end here, just rub it along the edge. You can remove it, all the imperfections along the edge of the skate blade. It's a great tool to have, uh, particularly if you've got someone, like I said, that plays a lot of games in a row. Um, it just helps keep them sharp a little bit between the final piece of equipment that we keep in our hockey bag, um, although not necessarily essential, is hockey stick wax. This wax, um, this one is made by Howie's, um, is used along the stick itself. Um, you rub this down along the tape of the stick. It keeps it nice and dry. The problem when you use uh, cloth tape, though it protects the stick and the stick blade, um, it get, tends to get very, very wet. Um, and bogged down. The wax not only holds the tape in place slightly, but also prevents the tape from getting overly saturated, um, thereby keeping it um, in better use 
over multiple days, multiple games. Um, ironically, it also has a very nice uh, odor, <laughs> so you feel really nice using it along your stick blade. I hope you found this video helpful uh, for any new parents out there um, whose child has decided that they would like to play hockey. Um, these are some of the things that I found have been very, very helpful um, during my son's playing thus far. Um, if you have any additional ideas, if there's anything you've found that's essential to your hockey bag, um, please send me a message on Instagram, hgso8. I'll put it at the end of the video. Additionally, for any of these tools uh, or equipment, um, I will have a link below on um, Amazon. Um, that way you can quickly find um, anything that you may need. Um, one thing I will say uh, as a piece of advice, um, you do not have to spend a lot of money on these items. Um, the hockey bag that we use uh, was not expensive. Um, I do not counsel spending a lot of money, particularly as you're getting started um, in a new sport, particularly something as expensive as hockey. Um, it's not necessary. And sometimes you can get away um, with some very basic um, gear that's not the most expensive, um, but does the job quite well. Anyway, I hope this is helpful. Um, I would say leave a comment below, but when you make a YouTube video and you make it child friendly, the comments are always disabled. So please make sure you comment on Instagram. Please like and subscribe. It really helps the channel and it really lets me know what information I can provide to you um, as a hockey parent. Um, so that way your journey is nice and smooth. Um, we're a community. Um, during the hockey season, we're a community uh, even off-season as well. And so anything we can do to provide information uh, to the hockey family, we're happy to do so. We hope you share information back with us as well. And we hope to see you at the rink. Take care.